Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Bree. And today, I'm sharing my uh, limited memories of the Teddy Ruxpin doll. Or Teddy Bear. So if you're not familiar, Teddy Ruxpin is a teddy bear doll from the mid-80s. That was an animatronic. With, and it had a cassette deck built in. When you put, It came with a cassette tape that had stories on it. And when you put it in, the narrator would read you stories in Teddy Ruxpin's voice. And the doll would move its mouth. Uh, uh, presumably in conjunction with the um, words, but it was never accurate. Because it was just open and close. It had no articulation, so it was it was it was a novelty toy, very expensive novelty toy. Now, allegedly, there is a cartoon or animated program that accompanied the Teddy Ruxpin uh, product line. I've never seen any of this cartoon. I I only heard rumors that it exists. I've seen. Um, other YouTubers talk about it online. I've never seen it myself. So I have no experience with the cartoon. And frankly, I have very, very fuzzy memories of the doll itself. I think one of my cousins had a Teddy Ruxpin. And we did not play with it because we weren't allowed to. This particular cousin of mine, <coughs> she was um, very spoiled. She had a, um, she had the plastic little tight. I think it was little tykes or play school. She had the whole kitchen, like the whole big kitchen assembly that you could walk in, the little mini kitchen playset, like what we had in kindergarten. She had an entire shelf of all the. Um, fake canned foods and things like that. She had a wall of popples, like a whole wall of popples, and another wall of Care Bears. So she had all the, you know, expensive toys that we didn't have. She even had one of the hot, um, not Hot Wheels, but Power Wheels. And so she did have a Teddy Rex pin, and I remember her showing it to us. Um... But because we weren't allowed to play with it, it was just we could watch her play with it, which was kind of cruel. She was like that. We weren't al allowed to touch any of her toys. So she would invite, we would, you know, what, what would it say, invite us. We'd get dropped off at her house, you know, my uncle's house, and my parents and uncles and her, you know, basically our parents would go off, do whatever they were doing, leave us kids alone with the older siblings to babysit and she was very very hands-off with her toys like she would sit and play with them in front of us but she would like smack our fingers if we tried to touch her toys and she would tattle on us if we tried to touch her toys unfortunately that's my experience with teddy ruxpin we were not old enough nor malicious enough me and my cousin, to, or any of my sisters or other cousins, to do what you sometimes hear people do, where they say they would put, like, you know, rock tapes in it, like, you know, Alice Cooper or whatever, to try to get it to play. We didn't do that. She she had the story tapes, and, that, you know, she would, she would, I do have one memory of her sitting down, we all sat down um, on the carpet in the basement in her toy room, and she put on the Teddy Ruxpin a tape and we sat and listened to the doll tell us a story uh, but I do not remember the specifics of the story because this was so long ago I remember not 
I, I was a fan of Care Bears and Popples, but I was not a fan of teddy bears or stuffed animals by and large. So I didn't personally have any interest in a teddy ruckspin myself, so I never asked for one. I'm sure my parents would have said no anyways when, as soon as they looked at the price tag. Uh, I can't say definitively if any of my three sisters ever asked for one either uh, because I never knew what they what toys they asked for because we were instructed to write a letter to Santa and give it to mom who would deliver it to Santa, you know, wink, wink. And um, we got what we got. Um... So I guess, leave in the comments, did you have any experience or memories with Teddy Ruxpin in your childhood? If so, was it more pleasant than mine? And, um, you know, feel free to share your experiences. And uh, I'll catch you later. Stay cool.